In this video we will introduce our work Focal Sparse Convolutional Networks for 3D Object Detection. Code and models of this work have been released at the GitHub link. We will first introduce our background, motivation and method. Then we will present our experiment and conclusion. 3D object detection is a fundamental task for robotics, and autonomous driving. The input data is usually point clouds, which are collected by litter sensors. Especially, it contains XYZ positions and reflection intensity. Some datasets also contain RGB images if cameras are available during data collection. According to the settings and camera numbers, it can be classified into multimodal, stereo, or monocular 3D object detection. The output of 3D object detection is the predicted 3D bounding boxes with classes. And the target of this task is to obtain accurate prediction and high efficiency for real application. There are three main benchmarks for outdoor 3D object detection, KITTI, New Scenes, and Waymo. In existing 3D object detectors, the backbone networks are commonly 3D sparse convolution networks. Point clouds are first processed into voxels. And then features are learned with sparse convolutional layers, which are followed by various detection heads. Here we introduce the basic components of 3D sparse convolutional networks. The input and output of 3D sparse convolutional networks are both sparse features. There are two kinds of convolutions, submanifold sparse convolution and regular sparse convolution. However, essential limitations exist in these two commonly used convolutions. Submanifold sparse convolutions avoid the computation issue by restricting the output feature positions to the input. Its advantage is efficiency, but it misses necessary information flow, especially for the spatially disconnected features. This leads to the very limited receptive fields. Regular sparse convolution dilates all sparse features. Its advantages are enough receptive fields and information flow. However, it inevitably burdens models with considerable computations. That is why backbone networks commonly limit its usage only in down-sampling layers. We propose a general format of sparse convolution, focal sparse convolution, by relaxing the conceptual difference between regular and submanifold ones. It only applies feature dilation at important position, with dynamic prediction. It has the advantages of enough receptive fields and limited computational cost. In addition, it provides meaningful explanation and visualization on the important positions in each scene. The main idea of focal sparse convolution is using another submanifold sparse convolution to predict the spatial importance. It dynamically determines the output positions of the main sparse convolution. It is feasible to both litter-only setting and multimodal fusion. For the multimodal setting, we combine RGB features to both input and output litter features. The first combination at the input is for the importance prediction. The second is to combine RGB features onto the important output features. Note that we only use several 2D convolutional layers to extract RGB features, which is not costly. Especially, we use the first convolutional stage of RESNET50 for feature extraction. There are two supervision manners for the prediction branch. The first is attention maps. We multiply the predicted importance to output features. In this way, gradients of the prediction branch can backward automatically. The second is objective loss. We use focal loss to distinct foreground and background features. Because we have the priors that the foreground objects are more important than the background. These images are the illustrations on learnable feature sparsity. We project the 3D voxel centers from the backbone output onto 2D image planes. These cases include common, crowded, and remote objects. In each pairs, the left is plane sparse CNN. The right is focal sparse CNN. Focal sparse convolution adaptively densifies object features. It does not introduce redundant background features. The backbone network of 3D object detectors contains one stem and four stages. It is specified by the channels and layer numbers. 
We keep these settings same to baseline models. For litter only settings, we use focal sparse convolution in the last layer of first three stages. For multimodal settings, we use focal sparse convolution only in the first stage. This simple modifications bring non-trivial improvements to the sparse convolutional network. We conduct experiments on mainstream 3D object detectors and datasets. We measure our methods in terms of accuracy, model size, and runtime. The results present non-trivial improvements on all datasets. Meanwhile, the parameters and runtime overhead introduced by our method is limited. We do ablation studies different components in the focal sparse convolution design. It includes dynamic shape, important selection, supervision, use stages, important threshold, and fusion scopes. You can refer detailed settings to the paper. We conduct overall comparison on KITTI datasets. Our method outperforms existing methods on test and valve splits, in terms of both litter-only and multimodal fusion settings. On the new scenes dataset, we evaluate our models on the test server and compare them with both litter-only and multimodal methods. Focal sparse convolution improves center point by a large. Multimodal methods present much better performance than litter-only methods on the new scenes dataset. Our method achieves 67.8% MAP and 71.8% NDS without any ensembling or testing augmentation. It further achieves 70.1% MAP and 73.6% NDS with test time augmentations. Both results outperform previous methods. We also conduct other experiments on data augmentation. A surprising case is that the multimodal fusion make the performance stay the same or worse on some popular categories, car, pedestrian, barrier. We find ground truth sampling is the key point. When ground truth sampling is used, the performance on some popular categories stays the same or worse. In contrast, when we disable it and apply all other transformations, like flip, rotation, rescaling, and translation, all categories are benefited from the fusion. We suppose that this is from the image level copy-paste. When other objects are pasted onto images, popular objects inevitably have more chance to be covered by the pasted, which degrades the performance on these categories. We also conduct other experiments on hyperparameters, like voxel sizes and loss weights. In conclusion, this paper presents a focal sparse convolution and a multimodal extension, which are simple and effective. They are end-to-end -end solutions for litter-only and multimodal 3D object detection. For the first time, we show that the learned sparsity with focal points is essential for 3D object detectors. Notably, focal and fusion sparse CNNs achieve leading performance on the large-scale new scenes. Our method achieves the best single model entry on the new scenes test leaderboard, at the paper submission time. This work is accepted by CVPR 2022, as an oral presentation. These are the references in the presentation. Thanks for your listening.